Hello, welcome to Orphan Espresso. I'm Doug. I'm Barb. And this is the OE Lido Basic Manual Coffee Grinder. Uh, this video is an addendum to the instruction manual, which you'll find on our website at www.oehandgrinders.com. Follow the manual's link or in your packing tray, the pulp tray that the grinder comes in, find a quick start guide, which is this little round card. Okay? One side approaches adjustment, grind adjustment. The second side talks about cleaning. This is all you need to, to, to know to, to get going to use your grinder, but there's a little information that's helpful. Okay? You can follow the QR code, go straight to that page, schematics, some other information. So, this is the grinder. Follow the quick start guide. We say, well, first thing we want to do is how do you adjust the grind? Now, you see on the body of the grinder, there we have a central hash mark and a big dot and a little dot. Okay, loosen the locking pin. When you move the marks in this direction, you're going in the coarse direction, coarser setting. This way, it's finer setting. The marks are traveling in the little dot direction. Right now, this is my zero. Okay. If I, for example, if I want to set it at two marks for espresso, I come up to here, tighten the locking pin. If I want a full revolution for French press, that's 16 marks, 14 marks, 12 marks, one revolution minus four. You can count from the bottom or you can subtract from the top, whichever you want to do. Uh, one hint is to always use the same direction for your setting. I'm at zero, one, two, I'm going to pull an espresso. Okay, I come up here, change my setting, always go back to zero, one, two for that setting. You make small adjustments back and forth when you're dialing in. And you don't need to go to zero when you're dialing in. No, you don't need to go to zero every time, but it, it's a way to keep track. It's a bookkeeping thing. Okay, let me talk about this knob. We mentioned that you need to dial this feeling in for the knob, okay? When, when it's loose, it's completely free, okay? So just go up, get a feeling for how, how tight do I have to make that? I've, it's locked up. Oh, I can move it a little bit, a little tighter. That's it. It's completely solid and locked, not over tightened. So find out what does it feel like when it's locked. Over tightening will reduce the life of the nylon tip. It'll cause the nylon tip to squish if you over tighten it. Also, you might make marks on the part of the carrier, but we do encourage you to find out how tight is. What do you need to do to keep that from turning? And it doesn't take much. It's very sensitive. Okay, that's, that's adjustment. Now, the other part that we talked about is cleaning. This is the other side of the quick start card. Okay, you see in here there's a screw in the center of the handle. Okay, now you take the tool which we provide, make sure it's nice and straight in there, break it free, and turn it out. all the way out, set it aside, remove the handle, loosen the locking pin, we're going to take the jar off, turn this all the way out in the coarse direction until it leaves the threads, and pull it into two pieces. There's your, your ring burr and your cone burr, completely exposed for cleaning. While you're in there, clean the threads the brush in here, clean the threads as well with the brush. Uh, this is actually a pretty handy little tool, the camera lens cleaner, that's what they sell them as, we can actually sell them. And you can come in here and you can do some further, further cleaning, blow out the coffee grounds. Assembly is a reverse, skinny on down through the roller barrel. Get the thread started. It helps to look at the reference marks, you know where you are. And I come down, I'm at zero. Finger touch on the knob. 
you'll see that there's a, a flat side on the handle and on the axle. So we take the flat side, match them up, align them, put the screw back in. I do like the spinner tool that we're now using. It's got the little spinner on the end. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it spins around. Okay, that's tight. Turn it on. And you finish cleaning. Don't put it in the dishwasher. That's, that's too much cleaning. Cleaning is what you just saw. Okay, you can put the jar in the dishwasher if you really want to. Otherwise, use a soft cloth, wipe it off. It's all you need. All right, one thing that we mention in usage is, and we do say, the first thing we want you to do is grind some coffee, okay? This loops, lubricates the burrs and it starts the break-in process. So what we recommend doing is loosen the locking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is kind of in your mid-range V60-ish, okay? We say set it about at eight. Throw in a scoop of beans. Now, what we've advocated for all along with our legal grinders is base supported grinding. Okay? This is not the manner that you grind coffee with a legal. This is not it. Okay? Base supported. Watch the difference. Okay? I'm making small circles with both of my hands, and due to the laws of physics, supporting the base takes out all this, this irregularity, irregular feeling. It's more efficient, it's faster, you get a more consistent feed. I don't know if you can see the beans feeding in, but no, you can't. Okay? Many times I sit down, sit down in my nice easy chair, lean back, support the base on my lap, my hip. If you're standing, you support the base against your hip. Standing at a counter, you put it on a pad. Okay, so you might want to practice that. It's a technique. Right? It's, it's, it's the most efficient. You don't have to use a lot of your shoulders or other bodily muscles. It just, it just spin it out. It's more like spinning. Okay? Now, we mentioned it's not a fragile flower. The glass jar is very stalwart. And this is pretty much the way that we deal with static. Okay? Static is always an issue with the grinder. We don't advocate putting water in the beans. Use some patience and use some mechanical uh, uh, approaches to get the static to go down more quickly. Okay? Some beans you don't have any static with at all. And some, some beans you'll you have, have a lot. Some beans you'll have a lot. But that's the way we deal with that. Okay. What else was there, Barb? Don't I, can't think, the of I can't think of anything else. Break it in. Make your adjustments. Don't put it in the dishwasher. Um, I think that's about it. Use your grinder. Enjoy it. It's a good grinder. Thank you.